In this tutorial series, I will guide you through the discipline of match moving from start to finish. If match moving doesn't ring a bell, maybe you know it as tracking, as in camera tracking and object tracking. If you still have no idea what I'm talking about, just search on Wikipedia for the term match moving and you'll get your answers. This series doesn't require any previous match moving knowledge or experience but requires some understanding of the filming process of live action shots. Nothing fancy, just basic stuff. For the viewers that have some experience already, you can skip to the section that shows the interface, tools and workflow inside Cinema 4D. I'll post the exact video name in the description text. Having said that, I suggest that you at least skim through the first videos just in case. So, what is match moving? Match moving is the process that allows us to extract motion data from a live action shot and apply that data to a 3D camera and 3D objects so they match the motion of their counterparts in the live action shot. Let me explain this using the source footage we will be working on during this series. Once upon a time, somebody took their camera and shot the following scene. After going through the process of camera tracking and then object tracking, we successfully replace the prop with a cool looking 3D weapon while retaining the correct position of all objects relative to the camera. The majority of blockbuster movies you see in theatres these days have had some sort of match moving process involved. By using Cinema 4D's match moving toolset you'll be able to add a new level of magic to your live action shots. The whole process of match moving is a testament to human ingenuity but comes with a few challenges. In order to do match moving successfully you need to have properly shot footage and patience. Although you may find that in several occasions it can be a one-click operation, in most cases it isn't. Welcome to Match Moving in Cinema 4D.